Indium and androgynous indium work with the tissues, with the cells. Indium is actually used in medicine as an anti-aging agent because it brings the body into its perfected homeostasis. Ocean indium, this is a grounding crown. Remember, we think of our body as middle C octave. This is the octave, this takes, starts at the crown, takes the information down into the earth. Grounding crown, ocean indium, working with the tissues. Feel how it's more on the outside where the other one was deeper in. And this is Indium High Heart. The other was Indio, Indigo Clear High Heart. So, but because we're dealing with the tissues, with the cells, and we've got a gazillion cells, it's more like fog expanding or particulate matter expanding than the structural expansion was. So, those are metals or minerals on the quartz. Gold, amethyst, rose quartz, citrine, moldavite, ruby, diamond are in the quartz from the first firing. So every time, well, just like every time we did green, it, the vibration activates the heart chakra. Red, the vibration activates the root chakra. Every time we do amethyst, it's going to activate the crown chakra because that's what amethyst does as a mineral. Every time we do rose quartz, it's gonna activate the heart. That's what rose quartz does as, as a mineral. Remember the sacral solar plexus, the yellow bowl? That was the color solar plexus. This is the tone solar plexus without the, without the sacral. I mean, this is, yeah, without the sacral. Amethyst solar plexus. Feel amethyst activating the crown at the same time the solar plexus is activated by the tone. And rose quartz solar plexus. and tone. Rose quartz heart is kind of a double whammy heart. You get the heart with the rose quartz, you get the heart with the tone. Amethyst heart.
again, the amethyst activates the crown while the tone activates the heart. And 24 karat gold in quartz heart. This is the white gold alchemy. three completely different experiences of the heart chakra because of the metal or the mineral in the bowl. <laughs> 